if you've seen my previous two videos on the Mario ARG, you should be already up to speed. If not, damn, go watch them already. If you've already seen them or have just returned, hello. I have quite the mystery to unravel for you. At this point, we basically know everything about the ARG. I was in contact with the creator from the comment section on my first Mario video, and I was able to find most of his files, and the games were found thanks to KTB's help. Through that, we found the entire ARG was crafted as a sort of practical joke or troll, and didn't have an intended thought out storyline to the end, which makes sense why it ended so abruptly. But there was still something unsolved. This Victim 1 image obtained from the game files. The most we know is that the image was created by Jordan Davis, a member of a band called Common Man Down. He said that the image was a manipulated photograph of a woman heavily edited to become whatever this is now. But, ladies and gentlemen, we have found the original image. This is about 15 years in the making. 15 years lost and not knowing where this image is created from. But first, some context. There's a Discord server called the Victim Core dedicated to searching for this image on the 11th of April this year. It was created by Midnight Crick, a YouTuber you should definitely follow. He's been at the front lines of searching for this image far longer than I have and is very instrumental to this story. Other notable users involved include KTB, who you should know if you saw in my videos, because he's in contact with both the original creator of the ARG and Jordan Davis. There's also Denise Kazooie, Left Beef or God on Discord, and PD on Discord, known as Pete the First on Twitter. Please keep these users in mind. Since the server's creation, people have been suggesting where this image came from, and the two biggest urban legends about it have been thoroughly disproven. First is the Chainmail Chasers video that I fell for like a chump that is a separate ARG not meant to be taken seriously, and second is this fatal frame screenshot. Neither of these are legitimate. However, someone came up with a suggestion. PD suggested that the image might have come from a band member in a separate band called Dur and Grey. There's no way I pronounced that right. And Denise noticed that the connection between one of the members and some of the JPEG artifacting on the Mario image. That knowledge now public and somewhat out of the blue, God slash Left Beast posted the image outright, and now we have it. Yes, I did not stutter. This is the original image. For a test, YouTuber Vibingly fried the image in a similar way to how Davis did it, and this was the result. KTB even contacted Davis' Discord account to confirm it, and he recognized it. What this image is, is actually a cosplay photo of a user J3SSL33 on Flickr, taken in 2007. The woman pictured is dressed as a member of the band, rather than a member herself, in a form of cosplay. We've got confirmation from the creator of the image, Davis, and the experiments conducted seem to line up, and we've just solved the entire ARG. The games and files were already dealt with, and now that the last stone is unturned in the image, we can definitely say that the search for this lost media piece of an ARG is finally over. I'm proud to have made this video, but not because I was involved. Really, I'm just a messenger, I wasn't on the front lines. It was users like KTB, Denise, God, and PD that are to thank, so I humbly ask that you show them your appreciation by going into the video description and showing them some love by watching their videos if they have some, and following them online. I also must extend a humble thanks to Jordan Davis himself for providing so much useful information, and of course, the ARG creator himself, Mario. Without him, none of us would have been able to meet or go on this wild hunt to figure out not only the story of the ARG, but the story of how everything together was created. Forgive me for repeating myself, but I'm just stupefied that all this happened so quickly. I'm not the first to cover this ROM, far from it. But I felt like I contributed in some way when the creator decided to comment on my first video. It's how I met people like KTB in the first place. I feel like I had something to do with all this, even in a small way. This will not be the first video on the topic, hell it's not even the first. Midnight Crick already did one, and I will of course be linking it below. Please give him more attention, he did a tremendous amount of work for all this. We've got much bigger names with their eyes on this, like Blame It On George, George, Jorge, I'm not sure, and Gooseboos who are equally excited about all this. It's tremendous, and I feel an overwhelming sense of finality in all of this. This is a mystery 14 years in the making has been finally solved, and we can move on from this and get onto greater heights. 
When I made my Mario videos, I was not expecting them to reach the heights that they did. Without much exaggeration, these videos kind of saved me because without the revenue generated from them, I wouldn't have been able to pay my rent and I kind of would have been homeless without it. And I have only utmost gratitude for everyone who chose to watch. I really didn't consider it at the time, but they kind of saved me from wandering the streets without a penny in my name. I think it was then, a couple of months ago, when I found what I wanted to do with myself, covering weird and strange games on the internet. Disappoint my family? Maybe, but it's what I want to do anyways. That's why I started Strange Gaming, that's why I've been working as hard as I have. It's been a labor of love for what I care about. These games, and you guys and gals who supported me. I think I'll end things for here and tell you that if you're into this kind of strange content searching deep dives, stick around and subscribe, I upload quite weekly and have a whole backlog of videos to enjoy. Again, go check everyone out in the description, they are probably better creators covering this than I, and I'm not saying that because I'm biased, or they've got a sniper dot on me, I promise. You're gonna see a lot of different videos on this subject, but at the very least, I did a bit of the research myself. So you can just, uh, you can just take it all there and just, uh, credit me in the description or something, it's cool, whatever. Until then, see ya.